One of the questions that I get often is, should I go with a publisher or should I self-publish? And I'm going to do a series of videos on this specific topic because there's a little bit too much for me to cram into one video. But today I wanna to talk specifically about the advantages of a publisher so that you can determine if this route is right for you. My name is Seth, I'm a full-time fantasy author. I've written 26 books, I've published most of them. And I make these videos because there are a lot of authors out there who feel a little bit lost. And I don't want you to be one of them. If you talk to any author who's published through a traditional publisher, one of the most common questions they get is, what's it like working with a publisher? Do you think it's worth it? This is especially common in the indie circles because indie authors have to weigh partnering with a publisher and losing some of the income that they would otherwise generate from their book or doing all of the work themselves. And so it becomes a really complicated question. And rather than try to break down every single nuance, because you really just can't, every situation is unique, I thought it would be helpful to talk about three major advantages that a publisher can give you. Let's get right into it. Advantage number one is that a publisher is going to be able to clear your time. Why is that so important? Well, if you've been hanging around this channel for any length of time, I'm sure you've heard me say that writing is the most important thing for a writer to do. If you're an author, your business is writing. And so you need to be spending as much time as possible doing exactly that, polishing your craft, creating your product so that you can take it out to market. If you're an author, you absolutely have to spend as much time as possible writing. I know I just repeated myself, but that's how important this is. You really want to clear everything else away if you can and just write. And a publisher allows you to do exactly that. You can focus on your highest leverage activity because the publisher is going to take care of everything else. And if you're partnered with a good publisher, they're going to do it better than you ever could anyways. And so you're taking your highest leverage skill and you're taking their high leverage skills and you're putting them together to create the optimal situation. A publisher is going to take care of everything. They're going to take care of editing. They're going to take care of blurbs. They're going to take care of covers. They're going to take care of marketing and just everything. At least they should. After all, that's why you're giving them a large chunk, sometimes even the largest chunk, of your revenue. Now, obviously the trade-off is that you don't get that revenue and so you're making less money per sale. But again, this is where you have to weigh your situation and figure out if the services they're providing are worth whatever that revenue cut is. The second major advantages that publishers have is that they understand the market. They're going to do your cover and your blurb, and they understand how to position your story better than you ever will. See, publishers have access to a lot of data that we as authors don't have. They have all of the books that they've ever published. They have access to information about books that other publishers have published, and they can see how well each performs in the market. And so when you bring a book to them, they're going to be able to tell you, hey, I think that this book needs to be adjusted if you want it to perform well in the market. Or they're going to be able to tell you, that's a perfect idea, run with it like it is, let's do this. Either way, they have an insight that we as authors often don't. You know, it's really hard to keep your hand on the pulse of the market, especially when you should be spending all of your time writing. But a publisher is paid to do that. That's like the primary qualification for being a good publisher is understanding what will sell and what won't sell. Now, that doesn't mean that every bet a publisher makes is going to be a smash success. Sometimes they bet well, sometimes they don't. But what we want is the increased probability. And going to a publisher is going to give us that increased probability because they can guide us in understanding how the market is going to react to our book. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't write the book you wanna write. You should absolutely write the book you wanna write. But you have to understand that publishers are in the business of making money. And so if you take your book to a publisher and the publisher says, mm, I don't think I can sell this, 
then that's a really clear indication that you're probably not going to make a huge amount of money if you self-publish that book. Now, again, I'm talking in generalities. There are always exceptions to these rules, but those are exceptions. And we cannot ever in our life count on being an exception. It'd be nice if it happened, but it's rare. That's why it's called an exception. The third thing that a publisher can do for you is give you a community. This is really, really important. And it's so hard to overstate the value of this advantage. Writing can be a tremendously lonely occupation because you sit at your computer or with your pad of paper and you scribble out words and you're not sure if they're good or if they're not. They seem good to you or maybe they don't seem good to you. But either way, it's all in your head. Everything that you're doing is in your own mind. It can become really easy to second guess yourself. And when you start second guessing yourself, you can start sort of spiraling. This is why writing communities are so important. They give us other people to bounce our ideas off of. They give us other authors to relate to. I went to a, a function a few days ago. And when I was there, I started talking to people about what it is I do. And I was suddenly struck with this thought. It is really sort of rare. It's uncommon for someone to do what I'm doing. And I don't say that to brag. I say that because I forgot just how uncommon it is. And I forgot because I have a very strong community. I have other writers that I talk to. I have publishers that I talk to. I have editors that I talk to. I've surrounded myself with people who are in my industry and who are doing what I'm doing. But not everybody has that. And if you're a new author, then you probably don't. I remember when I just started being an author, I think I spent the first two years of it just sort of by myself, wondering if I was just a weirdo. Over time, I learned the importance of community and I started building a community through the conventions that I was going to, but especially through my publisher. See, when you join a publisher, it's like joining a family. There are other authors who work with that publisher. There are editors who work with the publisher. There are agents, there's marketers, there's all sorts of people. And as you engage with them, you naturally start to get to know these people. And if you're intentional about it, you can build yourself a strong community. And that community is going to help provide you with the emotional and mental support you need to keep writing, and also is going to supercharge your creativity. While writing is, at its core, a solo task, it thrives on community. And a publisher is a fantastic way to jumpstart that process. That's not to say you can't have a community if you're an indie author. The indie author community can be very strong, but it does take more work to get involved with. Having a publisher can provide a shortcut to being able to surround yourself with people who are doing what you're doing. So these are the three major advantages that I see to having a publisher. We could keep the list going, but I'm going to leave it there for this video. And I'll be doing a video next week about three major advantages to indie publishing. So make sure that you stick around for that.